Hey, what's going on YouTube? Stygian here. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you the quickest way that I was able to hit 500 gear score with the release of World Tier 5. I just want to show you all some tips and tricks on how to reach 500 gear score as quickly as possible. These are some tips and tricks that I was able to use on my journey to hitting 500 gear score as quickly as I can. So to go ahead and get started off, I basically, um, you know, went through the story as quick as I could, completed World Tier 5 in the title basin, and immediately got pushed into World Tier 5. I believe you get some, you get some upgrades from defeating the boss, but they're really not that, they're not good because you're not in World Tier 5 yet. So basically, as soon as you hit World Tier 5, you are uh, able to do the Tidal Basin mission again for the rewards, as well as uh, two invaded missions and even one more stronghold. So the way you want to really do it, or the way you want to maximize your gear score grind, is you want to stay away from the invaded missions, stay away from both strongholds, and just farm bounties, farm control points, as if you, I, I know if you're, if you're able to do a level 3 control point, it could basically get you to around three to five pieces of gear on top of any other gear that drops from you know just random trash mobs as well as bounties when you do them on a normal challenging heroic or even hard for the first time for the day they're going to give you a whole lot of rewards depending on the difficulty of the bounty you do so let's say you do a bounty you know a challenging bounty some of those challenging bounties are going to give you, you know, roughly eight pieces of gear, five, five to eight pieces of gear, and that still doesn't include anything that drops from random trash mobs. Another thing to keep in mind is each day we get a new set of daily missions and one VIP mission. Now, some of these daily missions and VIP missions require us to complete certain missions or strongholds on the hard or challenging difficulty. So keep in mind, every time you do these, you are going to get a load of gear depending on the mission because some missions have, you know, multiple bosses in them or they'll primarily have one boss that'll drop, you know, four to five pieces of gear at the end. Or in some cases, when you get the missions that have three named bosses, you could possibly get a whole, an entire 10 pieces of loot just from the bosses alone, still not even counting the random mob drops that they can drop. So it's very efficient to do your daily missions every day on your way up to 500 gear score as those should significantly increase your gear score just based on how many drops are available. Another thing to keep in mind is that with each with each drop that drops according to your gear score, it is based off your gear score average. So that means all your items added up divided by the total amount of items will give you your gear score average and those are the drops that are going to drop. They're all going to drop around that gear score average number. So, for example, let's say my gear score average is 455. They're all going to drop around or below the 455 mark. Another thing to keep in mind is when you are leveling, if you are leveling with, you know, a group of friends or if you're even matchmaking for any of these activities, be sure to share the gear you get with your party as some people might need, you know, a holster and you need knee pads. They might have knee pads that drop for you and it basically helps everybody out. Everyone's able to constantly get a good set of gear rolling in into their inventory and uh, just very helpful. So just to go over a recap of what is the most efficient way to get your gear score up, you're going to want to complete the title basin and go straight into World Tier 5. Once you get into World Tier 5, you want to ignore the invaded missions as well as the two strongholds that are available to you. And you want to immediately start doing bounties, basically any of the difficulties, challenging, heroic, hard, normal, as they're going to increase your gear score, as well as control points. That'll give you three to five pieces of gear on your way up to 500 gear score and make sure you're completing your daily and vip missions on a daily basis as those are going to give you a pretty significant increase to your gear score anyways guys that's going to do it for this video i want to thank you all for coming out and watching the video if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave those in the comment section below be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more division 2 content i know i promised that um 
that how you know which gear set to choose for you with between the hardwire ongoing directive and the true patriot that video is taking me a while to put out i've been uh, working on it for the past couple days I'm still just trying to test the builds you know make sure make sure everything works accordingly and make sure it's a video that i want to be perfect so anyways thank you guys again for watching the video i'll be sure to catch you next time peace out